is the size of uh, say int data type and whatever is the output of this then you can say that okay please move this many memory locations because uh, you know the this particular integer is saved during you know it will take actually this many bytes okay so please remember that this is a system dependent operation in general right this is the setting in general this is the size but if you know the system vary the size definitely will vary okay so i hope this is clear whenever you are making use of uh, you know such whenever you need such type of information byte related information please use size of operation uh, size of uh, function instead of just assuming that this is the size of a particular data type okay so size of uh, operator can be applied to a variable name also a value also right expression also and it can be applied to array name constant right even to pointers right so you can have size of any type of identifiers that we have seen till now all right now let's move forward and see how pointer expressions and pointer arithmetic will work right we have already seen our arithmetic expression that is addition subtraction division multiplication right we have seen assignment expression that is equal uh, assignment equal to sign we have seen comparison so arithmetic are plus minus multiply divide etc there are some comparison uh, expressions like equal to equal to greater than equal to less than equal to etc right so these are general expressions that we have seen in um c right now out of this not all operators are valid for pointers okay there are some expressions that are valid and that too you know they are having some different you, you know they are having a little bit different meaning you cannot take the literal meaning of addition in case of pointers right so this is a uh, important you know thing to notice here so uh, and this is a little bit involve uh, topic of pointers okay so please pay attention now in this section we will see that the operators that can have pointer operands and how this operators can be used right so as i told you there is a there is a limited set of arithmetic operation let's talk about arithmetic operation first there is a limited set of arithmetic operations that can be performed on the pointers right so we can increment the pointer using plus plus we can decrement the pointer using minus minus sign an integer may be added to the pointer using plus or plus equal to an integer right i am talking about integer an integer may be subtracted from the pointer using minus and minus equal to and one pointer may be subtracted from other pointer right so these are five operations uh, that we can do okay increment decrement adding integer value subtracting integer value or subtracting one pointer from another pointer okay now um, you know these also act in a little bit different manner okay so let's see how actually it will act now assume there is a, this array of integer type okay and the size of the array is 5 the name of the array is v right and uh, suppose the compiler allocate this allocated this particular v array at memory location 3000 okay so this is a memory location and this is where the uh, compiler allocated our array v okay so uh, v pointer has been initialized to point to v0 definitely you know we already know that uh, if you write v what is it it is the address of the first location where the array uh, v0 element has been stored right so v is actually pointing to this location that is 3000 right now 
let's see the diagrammatic representation of this so this is how uh, it is right this is the pointer variable v pointer it is suppose pointing to the starting location of our uh, array right now variable v pointer is initialized to point to v with either of the statements okay what are those statements let's see uh, we can either write vptr equal to v okay because v is again the address of uh, the array or we can say v pointer is equal to address of v0 okay so both are valid statements and we have to define an pointer vptr and we can initialize this v pointer in either of these two ways okay and the effect is exactly as shown in this figure now now let's see how we can perform the operation suppose you know if we add three, uh, 2 to 3000 okay what will be the output the output will be 3002 when we talk about normal arithmetic operation okay but this is not the case with pointer arithmetic operation right so when an integer is added or subtracted from a pointer the pointer is not incremented or decremented by that particular value of integer okay but how then how it will get incre uh, incremented or decremented it will get incremented or decremented by integer times the size of the object okay so suppose if i do this operation v pointer plus equal to v it means that v pointer is equal to v pointer plus 2 right i am adding 2 to v pointer right so what will get stored in uh, this particular uh, v pointer so let's see so the value of v pointer is 3000 the current value is 3000 right as shown in this figure right uh, v pointer is pointing to this memory location so what is the address which get stored here 3000 will get stored here now if i increment the value of this pointer by 2 it will not become 3002 it will become 2 in 3000 plus 2 into size of the object right and this therefore size of is very important uh, operation okay very important function so uh, you know uh, so when we increase the pointer value by 2 it will actually go to this memory location okay so it will increase by 2 so this is the one increment this is the second increment and then now what will get stored here 3008 will get stored here so if we are talking about integer type pointer and then you know suppose size of our uh, integer uh, type variable uh, how the machine is stored is four bytes for each integer then if you increment the pointer value by two it will actually get incremented by two times the size of that object uh, in this case it is four and therefore uh, you know uh, the pointer value is incremented by eight right so this is making sense also right why because suppose i will literally increment it by two and i will store 3002 okay so actually this is not making any sense it is pointing somewhere here this is actually a wrong right if you try to access this value there is nothing you know uh, you know you cannot uh, get anything meaningful okay so you have to keep in mind when you deal with pointer arithmetic operation that whenever you increment or decrement uh, the pointer value by any integer it will actually get incremented or decremented by that integer times size of the object which it is pointing to is it clear any any question here yes no no ma'am no ma'am okay 
so if uh, you know if we are having an array v and v pointer would now point to v2 if an integer is stored in two bytes of the memory okay and then the uh, preceding calculation would result in this particular memory location depending upon the size of the array okay so suppose we are having our v pointer v pointer is again pointing to v and v is as usual uh, starting from 3000 and now uh, i am saying that in some machine the integer is stored in two bytes it will take two bytes if in this machine i increase the value of pointer by 2 the output will be 3004 okay not 3008 so this is a machine dependent operation okay because of this thing because of the second part because size of the data type varies from machine to machine okay and increment and decrement depends on this particular thing okay now along with this it will also depend on the data type which type of data type you are referring to right if you are referring to an character array so uh, character array if it is taking one byte and you will increase it by 2 okay so starting location is 3000 and you increase uh, it by 2 and we are having a character array we are uh, we are pointing to the pointer is pointing to a character array then this will have the exactly same effect it will increase it and the value will become 3002 and the reason is the character is one byte long okay so it will become 2 into 1 okay so uh, this is one important thing that uh, that you should know when dealing with pointer arithmetic operation now let's say decrementing operation it is exactly same as how increment works if suppose a uh, v pointer is at this particular location and you want to decrement the value of v pointer by 4 okay v pointer equal to v pointer minus 4 if we do this then what happen it will get decremented by again uh, you know so we are having this starting address so we will subtract four times size of integer if size of integer is 4 then it will become 16 and the value that will we will get is actually 3000 okay so increment and decrement will happen in this way now if the pointer is been incremented or decremented by 1 okay again the same thing will happen if 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 you will do this thing or this thing it will actually increment the pointer to point to next location okay we have seen this in a example of array of characters also in the previous class we are actually working on the pointer we are incrementing or decrementing the pointer so it is actually pointing to the next location of that particular array or uh, you know whatsoever okay so this is actually equivalent to we are increasing the pointer value by 1 okay all right uh, same for decrement okay so if if we are having integer type uh, uh, array and this is the memory location 3000 3004 3008 right and right now the pointer is pointing to this location if i decrement the pointer pointer will start pointing at this location okay now pointer variables can be subtracted from each other okay but actually this operation is not used in general because it will not make any sense right so actually you are saying that i am subtracting memory location so why somebody will subtract memory location okay but in some cases it in there are very few cases where this can be used okay so for example this uh, if v pointer contain 3000 and v2 pointer contains 3008 okay and if i write uh, x equal to v two pointer minus v pointer this would assign x the number of array of the element from uh, v pointer to v two pointer okay so actually what this uh, this will give uh, what is the output of this the output of this uh, what will get stored in uh, x x is will become 
so right so actually it will give you how many elements you know are there in this okay so if you remember when we talk about whether to pass size of an array to a function or not there we also talk about one thing that you know if you don't want to pass the size of the array what you can do is pass the starting location of the array and the ending location of the array okay and uh, during the function within the function by subtracting these two things what you can do is you can achieve number of elements which are there in the array okay so actually there we need the use of uh, uh, subtraction of two pointers otherwise it will not make much sense okay so yes and apart from all these operations other arithmetic operations are undefined okay so uh, yes this is the case and you know generally pointer arithmetic is used for arrays it 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 is actually used along with array because for variable you don't know where these variables are allocated in the memory and if you try to subtract two different location then it will not make any sense okay so if we are talking about the continuous memory location then only you know we can derive something from uh, subtraction of pointers and all okay so yes uh, pointer operations are very much related with and very much used with actually al only along with arrays okay so using pointer arithmetic on a pointer that does not refer to an element of an array this will be a programmatical error okay so if 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 i get some value in my uh, v pointer which is actually not the part of the array it will out of the bound of that array then we get segmentation fault okay now subtracting or comparing two pointers that do not refer to the element in the same array then you will get the error okay because there are two different memory location if you subtract them or you add them you go to some other memory location which is which will not make any sense okay you are not allowed to do that so you will get error now running of either end of the array when using pointer uh, pointer uh, operations you will get an error okay so you have to be stay within the boundaries of this array only if you go this side in the memory location or this side you are not allowed you can only play within this memory locations okay so a pointer can be assigned to another pointer if both are having same type right definitely so if we are having two pointers say int x x is equal to suppose uh, address of a a is an array if i make another uh, pointer variable y i can perform x uh, uh, y equal to x okay you can put semicolons i can perform y equal to x this is a valid operation why it is a valid operation because both x and y are of same type so you can assign one pointer to another pointer if both are having same type okay uh, now there is this exception rule with pointer to void so uh, till now whatever i told you is you know the pointer could be of integer type it could be of character type it is also possible to make a, a pointer of void type okay in the same way instead of the data type you will use void now what do you mean by this void so all the pointers that are uh, assigned a uh, void they are they, they, that uh, all the pointers who are declared with void you can assign any data type to this pointer so now you are uh, you know opening a huge scope of this pointer you can either make it point to x or if uh, suppose we are having a character uh, you know a variable we can make this pointer pointing to a character variable both are allowed okay so if we don't know what will be the uh, what we, what is the data type to which this pointer will refer to we can make use of void type while initializing it and uh, by de uh, during declaration 
and when we initialize it depending upon the initialization a uh, pointer will type cast to that particular data type okay and therefore all the pointer types can be assigned to a void type pointer and a void type pointer can be assigned to any other type of pointer okay so in the both way it is allowed in both the cases a cast operation is not required explicitly it is automatic operation a pointer to void cannot be dereference okay so you cannot dereference a pointer to void why because you don't know where it will get pointed to okay for dereferencing a compiler must know the data type of the pointer because then only it will know that how many a uh, memory location i have to print if it is a integer type pointer then it has to print 4 uh, bytes if it is a character type pointer then it has to print 1 byte if it is a void type pointer compiler don't know how many values will get printed okay so it will not get dereference so yes a pointer of same type can be assigned to each other except for the void type pointer okay now yes so this is the same thing that i told you the compiler knows that a pointer to integer refers to four byte of the memory on the machine right but a pointer to void simply contains a memory location of unknown data type okay so compiler do, don't know how much uh, bytes i have to print to give the value of this pointer okay so therefore there will be Uh, no such operation okay now assigning a pointer of one type so this is a common error that students will do they will assign a pointer of one type to pointer of another type okay and none of them is a void type pointer then you will get a syntax error okay if if one pointer is integer type and one pointer is character type and you try to say x equal to c no not allowed programming error okay uh you will get a programming error if you try to derefer a void pointer okay as the reason i we already discussed so pointers so these this is about uh, you know assignment operator now let's talk about comparison operator so pointers can be uh, compared using equality and relational operators but such comparison are meaningless if we are not talking about one array right so pointer comparison compares actually the address stored in the pointers okay so generally you know nobody will use such uh, comparison operations okay but in array yes you can use it and how it can be used so just see one example so if you are comparing two memory address okay whether one address is greater than another address the only thing we can know is maybe you want to know that which number is ahead of which number in an array okay so suppose 10 is stored at memory location 3008 and 5 uh, is a stored at memory location 3002 suppose or 3000 okay so if you are comparing these two addresses then you might be knowing that okay 10 is stored little later in the array and 5 is stored in the beginning of the array okay something like that otherwise you know generally pointer comparison you will rarely see in your real life yes but the the common use in comparison is we generally compare that whether null is stored in the pointer or not okay and this you will make a huge use of this when you will do your next course on data structure okay there usually you will you would like to check whether pointing pointer is pointing to null or not okay so generally we will check uh, pointer is equal to equal to null okay this is the operation but two pointer comparison generally it is not uh, required okay yeah so that that's it about uh, arithmetic operation assignment operations and comparison operate uh, operations in pointers any question
Any question? Yes, no? No, ma'am. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Now, uh, let's move to our next topic. Uh, and let me tell you what is the relationship between pointers and array. Okay, so uh, you have noticed that whenever we are talking about pointers, we are generally or specifically pointer operations, we are generally referring to array. Okay, so there is a close relationship between pointers and array. And let's see that. So array and pointers are intimately related in C. Okay, and often used interchangeably, but you know, just keep in mind these two are different concepts. An array name can be thought of as a constant pointer. Okay, so therefore, whenever we are writing array name, actually we are referring to the memory location from where the array is start storing. And this is a constant pointer, meaning you cannot change the value of this particular pointer during the program execution. Now, pointer can be used to do any operation involving array subscripting. Okay, now this is an important concept. So, assume that an integer array B5 and there is an integer pointer uh, variable B pointer that has been defined. Okay, so we will write B pointer equal to B. It means, you know, it is the exactly same thing. So, this is our B array. And I'm saying B pointer is equal to B. It means B will start pointing to this location. Okay. So we are saying that if we write array name without subscript, it is a pointer to first element of the array. This line is very, very important. We are repeatedly saying this line. Okay. If the array name is used without a subscript, it is a pointer to the first element of the array, right? And therefore, if we are writing B pointer is equal to B, this operation is allowed because we are setting B pointer equal to the address of first element of the array, okay? And uh, B pointer element, uh, pointer variable will always take the address. And we are saying B is nothing but the address of the first element of the array, right? So this operation is perfectly fine. And this is the effect of the operation. Okay. Now let's see. So this statement is actually equivalent to saying this. Okay. So we are writing B pointer is equal to B or B pointer is equal to address of first location of the array. Both are equivalent. Yes, I hope you understand this thing. Yes, no? Yes, yes, yes ma'am. Yes, ma okay. Now, whatever I am saying is, please pay attention in this. There are few different notation in which you can use these pointers, okay? So now, if you want to refer to, suppose I did this, okay? This, this operation has been performed. If you want to refer to the third element of an array B, okay, this is one way to refer it. What is B3? If you print B3, it will give you the uh, fourth element actually, right? Fourth, fourth element of the uh, array, right? Okay, so now if you perform this operation, it is have a same impact. If you increment B point, so B pointer is a pointer which is pointing to first location. If you increment this B pointer by three, and then you see the value that is stored at this location, this is equivalent to saying that what is B3? Yes, no? What this will do, what this operation will do. So I think we are having a diagram somewhere. Yes, this is the diagram. Okay, so let's talk in this example. So we are saying V pointer plus three. What is the value of this? D references. Okay, so V pointer is initially pointing to this location. 
if i do v pointer plus 3 so what i am saying is 3000 plus 3 into 4 okay 3 into 4 is 12 so the output will be 3012 okay so i am saying that please store 3012 here okay and when i say a strict v pointer okay so when i when i derefer it it will actually locate here so it will give me the value that is stored here okay so it this it will actually give me v3 am i making sense here yes, yes. so v v3 and is equivalent to v pointer plus 3 but please remember you have to make this parenthesis you know if you don't write this parenthesis then it is it will become v pointer plus 3 so what it will do it will actually increment this value by 3 okay because v pointer is pointing to the starting location of the array so what it will do it will copy that location the value that is there at that location and add 3 to it okay so this is wrong you have to put put this parenthesis okay in order to make these two things equivalent and this is called pointer notation this is called pointer notation okay or offset notation so when the pointer points to an array first element the offset this is the offset okay this three is the offset the offset indicate which array element should be referenced and the offset value is identical to the array subscript okay and this notation is referred to pointer notation or offset notation okay so b3 can be written as bptr plus 3 asterisk okay now the parentheses are necessary yes this i have already told you the parentheses is necessary without parentheses this the meaning is something else okay okay uh, fine so just as the array element can be refers with a pointer expression the address can be written as pointer expression now if i want the address of this particular location address okay what you have to do you just write b pointer plus 3 without you know this asterisk okay if you if you remove this asterisk what it will give it will give address of uh, b3 okay so address of b3 and address and person b3 these two are again equivalent yes this is also simple yes no yes ma'am okay so don't get confused in any of this b pointer is a pointer which will store memory location suppose 3000 is stored i am incrementing this value by 3 so it will get incremented by 12 okay because of the obvious reasons so uh, 3012 will be stored in the uh, in this location okay and this is actually equivalent to address of b3 okay so to get the address of b3 either use this or use this right now there is one uh, uh, one more point the array itself can be treated as a pointer and used in the pointer uh, arithmetic operation so if you write b only b this is equivalent to write bptr because both are pointing to first location both are actually pointers which are pointing to the first location of the array okay so what i am saying here is this if i would like to have the value of b3 i can either write it as b pointer plus 3 asterisk okay this is the pointer notation i can also write it as b plus 3 because b is also pointer which is having same uh, address right so this is also allowed 
it will also refer to the b3 okay so if you want to refer to b3 these are the three possible ways in which you can get the value that is stored at b3 okay so in general all subscripted array expressions can be written with a pointer and an offset and that pointer could be the array name or some different pointer that you have initialized okay so in this case a uh, name of the array is used as a pointer in this case we have made another pointer that has been used okay and please remember that this will not modify the value of the array okay the the pointer is a constant pointer and it will always pointing to the first number address only right now so this these are three things that we have covered one more thing is pointers can be also subscripted like arrays okay so somehow what we are saying is that uh, b is a pointer which is pointing to a uh, first memory location and it is actually a array name similarly b pointer is also a pointer okay so we can use subscript with that also okay so if you write this this is also a valid uh, statement so if you write b1 or you write b pointer 1 both are valid okay so there is this fourth way b p t r 3 to get the third element of the array or uh, whatever uh, fourth element of the array so these four statements are equivalent and this is very important point to be notice here okay all these four uh, statements are equivalent and why they are equivalent you should know the reason okay and this type of thing is referred to pointer subscript notation okay so there are there are two things that we have covered pointer offset notation and pointer subscript notation so we have seen that we can use sub offset with the pointer plus 3 this is the offset we can also use subscript with the pointer bptr3 or 1 okay this is the subscript pointer subscript notation pointer offset notation any question okay now with this if i say <clears throat> okay b pointer uh plus equal to 3 is this a valid expression yes no is this a valid expression yes ma'am yes okay we have already seen that what it will do it is actually we are incrementing the value of b pointer by 3 and this is allowed okay now what we are saying is you know here if you see this example you can thought that maybe i can replace b pointer with b and b with b pointer okay but this is conceptually not true okay because uh, because of the situation we can replace them but if we try to replace it in this scenario okay and we try to write it this this is a invalid statement why because we are saying b equal to b plus 3 so we are trying to modify the value of a constant pointer and this is not allowed so array name is a constant operator it is a constant pointer you cannot change the value of that pointer okay so this operation is not allowed are you following me Yes. Yes, sir. Any question? So please be careful whenever you are using all these things, okay? Because they are little bit confusing, okay? So you should understand the concept first and then try to you know hit such problems, okay? So the programming error is attempting to modify an array name with pointer arithmetic is a compilation error. 
because if you use this uh, or this you cannot do this okay because it is a constant array name is a constant pointer okay now all these four methods let's see an example and this through this program we will have a look at all these four notations okay that that we have seen till now so in this what i did is this this is a simple array of uh, size 4 okay and these are the values that are stored then we make a pointer b pointer which actually points to this array okay so the diagram looks something like this this is b okay this is stored somewhere in the memory with these four elements 10 20 30 and 40 and b pointer is pointing to this okay this is the scenario okay now let's print uh, you know few values so in printing what i did so first is a simple printing okay i am running a loop from 0 to 4 and what we are doing is we are printing b of i so b of 0 b of 1 okay b of 2 b of 3 it will actually print 10 20 30 40 okay this is simple now let's print the same thing using pointer offset notation okay how to write that any idea pointer offset notation yes now you have to tell me quickly how can we write it b pointer plus the variable name say i and then a strict yes, yes. right this is a pointer offset notation because i will in start from zero so first this will happen then one is added so it will actually give you next element then two is added so it will give you next element so on so forth okay so this is the here instead of i we are using offset right so in this way we have printed this is called pointer offset uh, uh, notation now pointer subscript notation so instead of offset now we can use directly the subscript okay so these are the four ways and this this is the another way uh, instead of uh, you know so here i have used array name as a pointer and here, here I have used uh, the pointer, okay, the, the uh, uh, different pointer as a name, okay. So these are the four things that, uh, that we have seen. Any question in this? All of this I have same effect. Yes, any question? No? okay so now let's move forward and now let's talk about some different type of array and then have a look at how these functions will work in such case okay so now let's see about uh, string copying operation with array and pointer okay so we will see a program where there are two copy functions okay so what we are doing is this so let's see this is the example now there are two copy functions copy one and copy two we will copy the first string into uh, uh, the second string into the first string okay we will copy in this way by two different methods okay so let's assume that we are having a string uh, uh, string one character array of size 10 okay then we are having this uh, pointer to a string okay then we are again having a, a character array then we are having a pointer again a pointer to a character string okay so what are these four things actually so the this string is let me see if there is a diagram for this i okay there is no diagram okay so it is something like this hello this is stored in the memory okay this is a character array string is a character array 
and string two is pointing to this location. Okay, string one is simple. It is an array of size ten. Okay, so string one is the name of this array. Nothing is stored here for now. String three is also same as string one. Okay, and string four again. String four is an array. Okay, which is having this stored good by and all. Okay, now if you remember, these strings have a null character in the end. Okay, so this is also there. All right. Now uh, let's see what this copy operation is doing. So when I say copy string one to string two. so actually the value of string 2 will get copied into string 1 let's see how it is done okay so what copy function copy one function is doing is this it is running a loop now see this this is very important thing it is running a loop inside the body of the loop we are doing nothing but you know in the loop what we are doing is this we are assigning you know the values to our s1 okay or string 1 we are assigning the values and we will keep assigning this values until unless we came across this null character this line is equivalent to i equal to 0 okay and s2 uh sorry this for loop is equivalent to this for i equal to zero. S two of i is not equal to null i plus plus, right? And inside body, I am doing s of i is equal to s two of i. Okay, both of these are equivalent. So if you closely look, actually this is also doing the same thing. okay we are assigning the element and then we are checking that the assigned element is not equal to null if it is equal to null we will come out of the loop so what it will do actually it will copy all the elements of second string to first string okay so second string we have passed string 2 so actually hello will get copied to string 1 and when we will print a string 1 let's see what is the output uh i think the output is not written the output will be hello okay oh th there is the output the output will be hello okay so this is one way of copying another way is so this is uh, through subscript notation okay another way is through point pointer notation what you can do is this you can say the value stored at s1 will become equal to the value stored at s2 okay so this is also allowed so both of these two things are equivalent one is related with array other is you know through pointers okay any question in this no ma'am okay in this please remember you have to increment both the pointers okay the counter variable is not there you have to increase both the pointer and keep on assigning until you get null character okay all right so a function copy one uses array subscript notation to copy the function define counter variable i and the for statement header only performs this uh, checking and assigning task both okay this is the assigning task and this is the checking task both are done in the for loop only so the expression this copies one character from s2 to s1 and when we encounter null character we will come out of the loop okay function copy to uses pointers and pointer arithmetic to copy string 2 into string 1 again in the for loop we perform this operation till we hit null okay so here we are using pointer notation and we are using pointer assignment operation okay all right so after the assignment in the condition the pointer i incremented to point to the next location 
okay so both the pointer should be incremented and when we are encounter our null character then we will the loop will terminate and we will come out of that loop okay so the first argument to copy one and copy two must be the array large enough to hold string in the second argument this you should keep in mind okay so you are actually copying this array into this element uh, this array so this array should be large enough that it can copy all the elements of uh, the uh, array given array this is the first thing okay so yeah this this is an important thing the first argument to both copy one and copy two must be large enough to hold the strings in the second array otherwise you will get error out of bound error okay also you have noticed that the second parameter of the function is constant because you are just accessing it okay so just to maintain the least privilege principle make this particular thing as a constant okay because we are not changing s2 we are just copying accessing s2 and copying that value to s1 okay so s1 is uh, uh should not be the constant uh, should not point to constant data type because we are changing that data type not data type the data value actually okay but uh, yes here here we are not uh, uh, here we have we will not use constant keyword okay because here we are using array notation in array the array is a constant pointer to a non constant data but when we have to deal with we have to change the value of pointer as well then we are using non constant pointer to non constant data okay and here we are using non constant pointer to constant data because the value we don't want to change but we are changing the value of pointer so the pointer should not be constant okay so non constant pointer to constant data in this case non constant pointer to non constant data in this case constant pointer to constant data in this case constant pointer to non constant data in this case okay so we have used all the four possible cases any question in this yes no okay so i hope no no questions all right that is good now this is the last topic uh, of pointers okay so we will see pointer in some other way but specific to pointer this is the only thing okay and it is we can have a point array of pointers as well okay so if you can see this line if we we write you know something like this what is this this is actually array of pointers right so a common use of array of pointers is to form array of strings or or, or called string array okay a string is a character array that we have seen for one character if we make you know if we write hello then this is a um array of characters okay this is called one string if you want to make multiple strings or array of strings then we will make use of th that is possible using array of pointers okay so this line there is a graphical representation of this line so what this line is doing there are four strings okay and you know e there are four pointers actually and each pointer is pointing to one individual string let me show you the diagram yeah this is the diagram okay so this is first string this is second string this is third string this is fourth string and there are these pointer suit 0 suit 1 suit 2 suit 3 okay these are the pointers and they are actually pointing to different strings okay so in suit nothing will get stored it is just four pointers that are stored i am am i making sense here you understand what do you mean by array of pointers yes yes no yes ma'am yes ma'am okay 
सो सूट फोर पोर्शन ऑफ द डेफिनेशन इंडिकेट एरे ऑफ फोर एलिमेंट्स ओके एरे ऑफ फोर एलिमेंट्स एंड दैट एलिमेंट्स आर एक्चुअली पॉइंटर टाइप एलिमेंट्स एंड दे आर पॉइंटिंग टू कैरेक्टर कॉन्स्टेंट्स ओके ऑल राइट सो कैरेक्टर स्टार पोर्शन ऑफ द डिक्लेरेशन इंडिकेट दैट ईच एलिमेंट ऑफ एरे सूट इज ऑफ टाइप पॉइंटर टू कैरेक्टर ओके पॉइंटर टू कैरेक्टर कॉन्स्टेंट नाउ क्वालिफायर कॉन्स्टेंट इंडिकेट दैट स्ट्रिंग पॉइंटेड टू ईच एलिमेंट कैन नॉट बी मॉडिफाइड ओके यू ऑल नो दिस थिंग द वैल्यूज दैट आर प्लेस्ड इन द एरे आर दीज फोर वैल्यूज right and each is stored in the memory as a null terminated character because these are strings okay so there is null terminated character after each strings okay so the size of each string is 7 9 6 and 7 respectively this is a six a uh, character so the size is 7 okay the size is 9 here uh, this is 6 here and 7 here something like that okay now although it appears as though these strings are in placed in suit array but only pointers are stored in suit okay and each pointer point to first character of its corresponding string okay thus even though the suit array is fixed in size it can provide access to a character string of any length now this is a very 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 important and interesting path uh, point and actually this will show you that how how uh, powerful c is actually okay how how much flexibility it is giving us for data structuring okay so what we are seeing what we are saying is this suit is a fixed size array but we can store any uh, length of any character uh, string in this okay so in suit one you know the size of string is 9 you know nobody will stop you to keep a little longer sentence in this okay so even the suit array size is fixed for the length of the string that are pointed by each pointer okay it can be of wide variety okay and this can be looked as a two dimensional array as well in which each row represent a suit and each column represent a letter from the suit okay so it is kind of a 2d array okay it is kind of a 2d array okay but in 2d array the the column and uh, uh, row should be fixed okay so in this case rows are fixed how many rows are there how many rows are there four four, four. rows how many columns we should keep if you we want to make something like this how many columns we should give nine columns why nine columns because nine is the largest size of the string which is given okay so you can think of it as 2d array also are you getting my point but these memory locations are waste okay no, nothing is stored here okay so this suit can be can be placed in two dimensional array in which each row would represent a suit each column will represent a letter from suit name now such a data structure would have to be fixed number of columns per row and that number would have to be as large as the largest string okay and therefore there is some sort of memory wastage if we use a 2d array to store such type of thing okay and therefore it is very useful to have arrays of pointer because it is allowing us to not waste any memory are you getting my point okay